It's Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Billy Nelson. I've got to say, I'm still adjusting to the new look, Billy Nelson. You look you look great, mate, honestly. The way you've turned your life around physically, I think, is a, an inspiration to a lot of people. No, thanks very much, mate. I appreciate that. No, no problem. Um, and I guess what most people want to know boxing-wise at the moment is Big Martin, because there's a lot going on in the heavyweight division at the moment, and we haven't heard much about him just recently. What What's the latest with him? Well, you'll be hearing a lot about him in, the, in the, the next week, 10 days. Uh, some big announcements being made. And uh, you'll be over the moon. Well, over the moon. You'll be over the moon. All right now, I know you're not going to tell us who the opponent is at this stage, but can you tell us, is it a fight in the UK? Uh, it'll be fighting in the UK, aye. And can you tell us if his opponent is from the UK? Uh, that's not been confirmed yet, but... That's not been confirmed yet, but the, those moves are fit for another fight late, late, later as well that get them in a great position. OK, all right. Well, we'll look forward to hearing a bit more about that. But while you can't go into detail just yet, let's talk a little bit more about the heavyweight division generally. We saw um, most recently Tyson Fury, Derek Chisora 3. I don't think it was a fight either of us were particularly looking forward to. Did it go pretty much as you felt it would? Very much so. Uh, it was, uh, you know, it was a glorified spar, wasn't it? I mean, they could have stopped him at any time. There's much, there was much better opponents out there. I mean, I mean, they were saying that they couldn't get, an, they couldn't get, well, they couldn't get a better opponent. They never asked everybody. And presumably that includes Martin, because he's someone that I've brought up a number of times when people have said, "Well, who better could he have fought?" I think Martin's been the first name on my list. Oh, a million percent. We would have took the fight, no problem. It would have been a very hard fight. Would have took that fight no problem. It'd have been a far, far, far more competitive fight. Well, it wasn't even it wasn't competitive at all, was it really? Would you like to see Derek Chisora walk away now? I mean, I know it's his decision, but what would you like to see happen? Derek's been fantastic for the sport. He's a big character. He's earned a few quid, more than a few quid at the boxing. I'd have liked to have seen him retire. A couple of years ago, eighteen months ago, maybe. He's, he's, he's. I mean, he's talking about continuing. That's people, people around it. But I've heard he's one of these guys that don't listen to people anyway. So he'll not listen to you if you tell him to stop it. So it's his, his choice. He's the one that's got. But as a person that likes boxing and likes, you know, and, and appreciate what he's done in his career, I'd like him to quit. Yeah, me too. I mean, it's hard to know whether he's kind of addicted to the spotlight and the the you know the big arenas and stuff, or whether it's financial. You know, as he as he looks after his money. I know he's just earned a big wedge, hasn't he? So I don't know what it will take for him. Well, to you, you've, you've got to think that he, you you'd really hope to you'd like to think that the money he's made in boxing that he should have easy seven figures plus well into seven figures uh, and and the bank. But you just don't know what's happening. Like, I don't. I don't know, and I don't care. You know, I don't. I, I don't care what he's got and not got. But I. I, I hope for him and his family sake that he has, and I'm sure he has. And then after the fight, you know, we been, saw been prudent with his money. Yeah, after the fight, we saw kind of a confrontation uh, in the ring, out of the ring between Usyk and Fury, and and then Joe Joyce got involved as well. What, what did you make of all that? And do you expect yeah. we'll see Fury and Usyk next? Well, you expected that to happen. That it's itself for that reason to for for that for that uh, episode to be played out. Uh, you know, and Tyson call him out, blah blah blah. But Big Joe Joyce, I mean, I I seen Big Joe Joyce jumping up and somebody's at the back, jump up, Joe, jump up, Joe. <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh my goodness, the wee band leaders are there, the wee the wee pom pom boys, unbelievable. <laughs> you know? And listen. I read a lot. Joe Joyce is a fine, fine, fairly strong, but he is so tailor-made for Tyson Fury. It's unreal. 
so terrible. He, he, he would get stopped within four rounds. If Tyson wanted to, he'd stop him in four rounds and comfortably. Yeah, it's, it's no, strange. It's, it's not a non-punching heavyweight that's going to be hitting him. It's right. a six-foot-nine guy that's hitting him now. You know, with speed and skill. And an I, a great box and an IQ. No guys that have been knocked, knocked three times in the last five fights that are over 35 that he'd be fighting and it gets stopped very, very early, I think. Yeah, yeah, all good. Um, Yeah, so about a month before the fight, uh, we spoke to Usyk's team, we spoke to Aegis Klimas, and he said from their side, everything was signed for an undisputed fight. They were just waiting for Fury to go through Chisora, which he's now done. But after the fight on Saturday, Fury was saying, well, yeah, I want to fight Usyk, but if it doesn't come together and you know what heavyweight boxing's like and all that kind of stuff, it didn't seem as certain as Usyk's team believed it was. Is there any reason why Fury might not want that fight in your view? None whatsoever. But who wouldn't want to fight for unified world title? Is that the wind up? I'm sure he's at the wind up. Is a wind up merchant? You know what I mean? He'll see. <laughs> He'll say that he'll say things to get a response. He's fucking he's brilliant at it. He's brilliant at it. But obviously, he he, he wants to fight us and get all the marbles. Fair enough. Now, previous <clears throat> to that, the week before, we saw Dillian White make his return from losing to Fury uh, against Jermaine Franklin. Uh, controversial uh, decision, it appears. What did you make of it in terms of you know scoring it? Well, I thought it lost for two rounds. Um. You know, I, I feel right. Sorry for the American boy. I mean, it's it's happening a lot in matchroom shows now. There's the scoring. You know, it's it's getting ridiculous. It's getting to a ridiculous state where they're going to struggle to get genuine, genuine world title fights. If if the the people are just going to say, "I say, well, we're going to get we're going to get robbed here. We're going to go and win, get robbed to get." It. That was a bad decision, wasn't it? A, a robbery, but the boy won the fight. I was yeah. I was watching it and I was. Uh, reading reading it online, and very very few people had Dylan winning. Even Eddie Hearn contradicted himself unusually <laughs> by saying, oh, he won nine ten, he won nine, and he won ten, eleven, and twelve." But what about one to ten? <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> they, they do matter also. Yeah, I mean, uh, just. Uh, <laughs> Just based on Dillian's performance in the fight, regardless of you having him losing on the cards, do you think he's, you know, changed by that Fury fight? Do you think he's he's lost something, if you like? He lost something after the first Pavotkin fight. Hmm. Most definitely. If he fights Mark McCauley, he will get pulverised. Believe me when I tell you, pulverised. Yeah, I mean, I can understand why a lot of these heavyweights avoid Martin, as, as some of them do. But Dillian, certainly in his position, I'm guessing he's just trying to get that Joshua rematch. But he could get, he could get, he could, he can get that even without fighting that 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 uh, last opponent. Hmm. That fight is basically in the can. You know what I mean? Let's be honest, because because with the fullest respect, AJ. Hasn't he looked the same fighter as what he has for the last few fights? I think he's lost three or five. Would that be right? Yeah, three of the last. And five. Dylan's and and Dylan's been knocked out maybe two of the last four. Yeah. So <laughs> both of them, you would say, are slightly on the decline. So and, and there's a rivalry there anyway. So they'll always they'll always be, that fight is always going to get made again. Do you see it being competitive? No. <laughs> Never be, uh, first fight wasn't competitive, the second fight will be less competitive. And because Dylan, okay. Dylan White, Dylan White, I've always, always said, I've always thought, as I've got a suspect in. Talking of Anthony Joshua, he, from what we've seen recently, and he can be quite cryptic, but he seems to be keen to change his training team on a fight-by-fight -fight basis now. He's talked about bringing different people in depending on who the opponent is and stuff. What, what do you make of that approach? A lot of shit, isn't it? I mean, it is a lot of shit. <laughs> Don't hold back, Billy. Really. Say what you really feel. <laughs> well, it is. 
So what what if it what if it really uh really bl- uh, mixed with a, 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 a trainer and going and a trainer dumped him? How would he feel? Yeah, it's true. There's two sides. Trainers are not just pieces of meat that you throw about and use, but like some boxers do actually do do do, do it. Some train some boxers have had more trainers and JD Sports. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. These people have got a lot. Boxing boxing coaches have got uh, a a living to make as well. Especially you know, with the fullest respect, the better ones. You know, they put a lot of time effort. And 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 if I doesn't, and and fighters can do it. see that this is what's wrong with boxing. Everybody involved in boxing, as well, you know, coaches haven't they? And coaches spend more time with them with, with, with the boxers than anybody, and do more for them than anybody. Hmm. But can get dumped to it. So, I mean, it, there, there's twice now, twice now. I've not been paid for fights, and it comes to the cost of. Between the two fights, over a hundred thousand pound. Wow. Yeah, that is awful. Well, if you if you've done the hard work and got and both of them both both of them are victorious. Yeah. Both of both boy, boy one stopped him, and 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 one guy won him points, and I never get paid. I've still not been paid. Are you? Without naming who they are, obviously, because neither of us want to get in trouble. But Listen, you, no, no. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter who they are. It's it's done. I'm I'm not going to get paid now. Oh, you're not the going boxer, to court to get and, the money or anything. No, because and um, in, in one instance, the the boxer no, and in, in one instance, the boxer's not even being paid, so he no, can't no. pay me. Well, the boxer's not been paid a million dollars. Jesus. So. I can feel sorry for myself, no get my percentage. But how bad does he feel? He's 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 put he's 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 put me up he's put me up and uh, Airbnbs and hotels, he's paid for flights, etc. 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 And he's got no nothing back. It's cost him. It's terrible, isn't it? At least it never co- at least in that instance it never cost it never cost myself. But to for 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 the guy not to get a million dollars, that is scandalous. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Awful. Um, just before I let you go, uh, we talked about Martin, of course. Tyson Fury is pretty dominant at the moment. I know you fancy him against Joyce quite strongly, and and Usyk also. But do you see anyone out there? Usyk, Usyk, the... Usyk will give him a lot more problems than what Joe Joyce will. A mm. million percent. A million percent. But aside from uh, Martin, do you see anyone with a good chance of beating Tyson Fury in the next couple of years? In the next couple of years, the, the only other fighters I think have got any. The only fighters that I think have got a chance against Tyson Fury, Joe Joyce has got a chance, right? But he, he should get beat uncomfortably. Uh, Usyk, Martin Bacoli, Hargovic. Not based on the Chinese uh, <laughs> opponent's <laughs> performance. Yeah. I mean, oh, but you can only go with it the, the, how they fought the last time. You don't, you know, his mind just didn't seem to be there. And I know there was there was circumstances, so he could be forgiven for that. Mm. And uh, the ja- ja- Jabalov, I was very impressed with him over in Dubai. Yeah. He's like very good. Yeah, it's a good shout. I mean, he's he was already a pro before the Olympics, and he just looks better and better now, doesn't he? Uh, but again, you shouldn't be fighting in the Olympics when you're a pro. Yeah, well, I agree with that. I mean, hopefully, we'll still be in the Olympics in uh six years' time. I uh, I read that a few months ago. That'd be a, that'd be a crying shame. That with that, and that's that's all down to the corrupt uh, amateurs, amateur uh, officials. Terrible. Mm. I mean, <gasps> I mean, I I can remember. Do you remember? Uh, who was the who was the, the South Korean boy? I was it a South Korean boy that sat in the ring for well over an hour. Oh many, yeah, many Olympics oh, ago. Man. Remember that guy? He got and that was scandalous. And then was it was it Roy Jones got robbed in Seoul? Yeah, in eighty eight. Seoul, uh, Michael Michael Conlon. That oh, was a yeah. shocker in the quarterfinal. That yeah, was terrible. Nick Eaton. And, yeah. and I'm sure I'm sure there's been many many more. You know what I mean? I, I mean even even. Uh, 
even the last Olympic, some of the some of the some of the, the judging was terrible. So that, you know, but so so if there is corruption within the sport at that level, can we really moan if, if it's going to get took out the Olympics? I hope, I really hope it doesn't, because so so many young people have got you know dreams and aspirations of winning gold medals. Yeah. I agree. It'd be, it'd be terrible. It'd be a crying shame. Well, let's keep everything crossed that, that something could be done uh, well ahead of time. Billy, really, really appreciate you doing this. Um, hopefully, we'll hear about this big opportunity for Martin in the next week or two. And uh, yeah, then we can have another chat. Okay, mate. Okay. All the best. All right. You take care, mate. If I don't speak to you before, yeah. have a great Christmas. <laughs>